Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue to clear Demonta of the nasty robots. I think right now I want to go, what is this, west? Yeah, let's go west over to this little garden patch and see if we can rescue these people's daughter. Hopefully she's still alive. And by the way, I have not forgotten about the attribute points that I have to distribute. Whoops, wrong key. Yeah, how many of our people need to distribute their attribute points? You, not you yet. Although by the time I'm done here, you'll definitely be level 20. You, 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 yep. So by the time I'm done here, pretty much everybody except for Corn Kane. But again, that's a big decision. I'm just going to save that for when I get back to the Ranger Citadel. So I'm just going to wait. I have no idea why I just saved it. I only walked like 10 feet. Skill points. A statue of a man and a large-eyed robot, looking off into the distance. A plaque reads, Rob and Oki, surveying the graveyard. The rest of these robots could learn something from Oki's example. Oh shit, is that... I think that might be their daughter. Oh wait, no, there's a bunch of bodies. Okay, there's a bunch of bodies. That's <laughs> That might be a good thing. Whoa, hold on. Because that might mean it's not their daughter. They're holding the line. Alright, um, shit. If I start shooting these guys, I think it's probably going to bring those over too. So we actually need to be careful here. Let's, uh, in fact, let's heal ourselves up a little bit. Um, we could even get the hide advantage from up here. In fact, we could start sniping them, although we're going to have trouble hitting them when they get here, maybe. Maybe. I don't... No, we should be okay. We'd probably have trouble hitting them if they were, like, standing right here. But otherwise, we should be able to shoot over these little... little lumps. Oh, wait a minute, what? Sight block? Sight blocked. Okay, never mind. I don't know, I think they got a little bit overzealous with the, uh... The, the sight blocking there. Can you shoot from there? Yes. 100% chance to hit too. Nice. Corn Kane, you're useless. I hate you. No! Go away. Oh, right. You're going to run out like an idiot. Oh, well. Let's hold our ground. Ah, screw it. Except for Corn King. What the hell? Oh, fuck! That thing... That can reach us from over there? Shit. Well, unless I'm gonna have everybody retreat, I can't do anything about that. Fine, fuck it, I guess we will retreat. I didn't know the thing had such a range. Damn. I hope the goats come with us. Might need to throw some gr grenades. Hopefully they cluster together, and thankfully these... Uh, threshers are really slow. <laughs> the goats. 
poor goats, calm down, it's okay. It's just a disco. Just dance. You'll like it, trust me. Oh my god, was that... Was that one of the goats too? Those things are hellishly fast. Looks like it's going for my goat. Don't go for my goat. God oh, damn it, they're gonna kill our goats. And two hours later, I can take my turn. You're useless. You're useful. Should I burst the claws? I guess. Oh my god, he actually did something. Ah, I don't want another disco. No more disco. <laughs> Please. Um, this is a really bad situation for a shotgun. So let's not use it. These things have a lot of armor, right? Three? Eh. Actually, no, that's not enough armor. Yeah, this energy weapon's gonna be shit against that. Well... Not, well, yeah, it is, it is actually going to be complete shit. It's bad. Let's get a little bit of a height advantage here. Still need a crouch. Okay, so there's multiple types of Thresher Claws. These both have the same name, but this one has much more hit points and much more armor. So this one I can use the energy weapon on. But not these. These are like the baby Claws. Just use this. What's the armor penetration for? Yeah, that's good enough. Four times. That will probably... No, that probably won't kill it. So, let's do this. Please don't shoot the goats. <sighs> no! <gasps> you monster! That's red, isn't it? Red just died? I mean, I know that doesn't end the game, but, like, I consider that a failure state. So, I'm just gonna load my game, I guess? Let's just set up in a way where we're not next to the turret which seems to have unlimited range and can shoot me from the moon. But wait, can we even do that? Because I shot at like the maximum of my range and that didn't work. Is there a way to come from the other side? Uh, yes. I need to get here. And to get here, I need to go around the... Let's just go around the other side, shall we? Is there an easy way to do that? 
think I have to go through here. Let's go this way. Yeah, how many hit points do you have, Red? Th 35 hit points! Oh my god, no wonder you died. Jesus Christ, dude, stay in the back. Stay with the goats. Like, protect the goats. That's your job, okay? Dynamite. Dynamite, 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 dynamite. Oh yeah, plenty of dynamite. Oh. Uh, grenade. Let's use a dirty grenade. Let's use an actual grenade. Okay then. That solves that. I have no attachments on my over under. I need to do some weapon attachments. As a matter of fact, as a fact of the matter, let's weapons the disassemble. Full choke, open choke. Open choke. So that's gonna widen it, I guess. Okay, so I can widen it. I think that's all it does. And it reduces the maximum range. By four meters? Eh. 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 Nah. And there's some other stuff that you can put on a shotgun. I don't remember what. Um, I know you can't put a barrel. I don't know if you can put a high capacity magazine. Um, I don't think you can put a scope. I think you can put a flashlight though. I think it lists it, doesn't it? Oh, you can only put attachments on the end, that's it? That's it? Alright, whatever. Anyway. Encumbered. Oh, right. Wait, what, what is she encumbered by? The choke? Damn things only weigh a pound. Guess it's the broken weapon parts, probably. Okay, yeah, this way we can kill the turret before we have to deal with the rest of the robots. Alright, so we're going turret first. Let's set up our people here. Let's make sure they're in range of the turret. Yes, they are. Damn it, Red. 
Everyone except for Corn Kane. And we should be good. And it's broken. Awesome. Good start. Much better than before. Why? I didn't mean to press that. Just just go there. I'm going to keep these robots away from us so that they don't kill uh, Red. So let's just stay here and ambush. Oh, just out of range. You're going to get a plinkin' right about now. Plink. Quadruple plink. I think that's longer range than the shotgun, right? Oh yeah. Let's go to burst and let's ambush. Ninety-eight, not bad. Yeah, definitely worth it on these five armor dudes. That was cute, Red. Did the robot just scream? Robots aren't supposed to scream when they die. They don't have feelings. I'm kind of worried about the little dude more than the big dudes, because I don't think the big dude could make it over here in time to kill Red. Whereas this thing, if it decides to go for Red, could kill him in like one hit. Hold on, do you have a grenade? Let's... yeah, let's throw a grenade. Awesome. Kill two robot birds with one explosive stone. That was suitably pathetic. Okay, we're good. Got some more coming around the corner. Just wait for them to come. Red. Don't go out there, Red. God, Red is like a newborn baby crawling out to the battlefield. It's like, I know you're eager to, eager to get in the fight, but just don't. Can you do a headshot? I mean, you don't have the AP to do it. I guess you can do a headshot with a melee weapon. Okay, these things need to die, which will not be a problem, because they don't get a turn for quite a while. So, we're good. Uh, just need to make sure we don't accidentally friendly fire and shoot them in the back of the head, because one bullet could kill them. Although he does have five armor, so he'd probably be okay, because my weapons don't penetrate that well. So if I hit him once, I, he probably would be okay. Alright, let's be careful with this. Do you have a clean shot? Uh, yeah, you do. Okay, we're good. Out of ammo. That's not good. Hold on, what do you use? 7.62? Oh, that's the special ammo. I guess I haven't been getting any more of it, have I? Might have to switch her over to the other weapon if she runs out. She's got 14 shots, so that's going to last for a little while. Wait a minute, what? 
Hold on, I need to check that out. It looked like a tread. And I've been on the lookout for a tread. Who got the tread? It's probably just a random junk part, but just in case. Octotron Continuous Track. No, it has to be a very specific part number, right? I don't think it can just be that. Like, it had a, it had a specific model number that it needed to be or something. Copy, Echo. Congratulations, Echo One. Six points, nice. Okay, sniper rifle's good. So it's gonna be perception or weaponsmithing. Uh, let's do perception. Theodore. Five points. Do I want to upgrade your surgery skill? Or save. No, his leadership's good. His kiss-ass is good. I don't need to use surgery that much, but it keeps getting me in trouble when I try to do surgery and end up killing people. That's not good. So, hmm. I could also make him more combat effective. Which I didn't want to do, but he is doing pretty good on his other skills, so maybe I should. L let's do it. And then Vulture's Christ. Ten points, wow. Okay. Definitely not safe cracking. You're good on that. Uh, uh, let's just do Sniper Rifle, I guess. And save the rest, I suppose. Okay, let's hope one of these bodies are not their daughter. A dusty little walled garden with some anemic-looking plants all lined up in rows. A lot of the plants have been trampled on, and you can see the imprints of big square feet in the dirt. <laughs> they have a condom on them. Okay, so I've got condoms and dildos and lipstick and... Um, beer? Like, we're ready to party. Ribbed. For her pleasure. Look, I don't know about you, but this doesn't look like a condom to me. To me, that looks like a little, like, doll's cowboy hat. Okay, I don't think any of these are actually her. No, so she might be okay. Maybe she ran away and hid in a building or something. Okay, so there might be hope yet. Let's see if we can find her. Where am I going? North? Okay. What the hell? So many body parts you can get. I didn't even know you can specifically get pinkies. Not too fresh and not too old. There are no answers here. Only questions. So this is where old dinosaurs go to die. I think she's talking about the planes. Okay, well, we're really far away from where the garden was, so... Oh god, there's so many bodies on that fire. None of these bodies have had special descriptions so far, just those weird alliter alliterative things. Beta Max tape. The future of home entertainment is here. So does this take me to the, uh, what is it, the graveyard? 
which is the place I ultimately want to go. So many planes. I have no idea there were this many planes in the world. Okay, that might take me... Oh, that's just out to the wasteland. Okay. Yeah, I'm just completely away from the garden at this point. Holy shit, there's a slicer dicer. See why some have worshipped the ancients. Surely their wonders are godlike. Uh, I guess. Red shoulder pads. Hmm. I could maybe look good. Anybody still need clothes? I suppose Theodore could use some. Where did they go? Who got the shoulder pads? Oh, here we go. Hmm. That looks kind of crazy. I suppose that kind of fits Yulia, but this, this fits better. Let's go kill these robots. Just for the XP, if nothing else. Oh, you can't walk here for some reason. Huh, it's weird. There's actually not many places you can step here. Oh shit! Caught me with my pants. Caught me with my pants down. Please don't attack this turn. Oh, oh wait, you're jumping away, right? Good. Oh, well, you're probably gonna use your laser now, right? Pew, pew, pew. No, okay. What the fuck? Oh, God. Slicer dicer and a fucking turret in the shadows. Great. Should've came, should've came around the other way. Alright, well, we're probably dead then. Or at least Red's probably dead, and the goats. But, let's see what we can do. Just focus fire on this damn thing. We are not going to kill this before it gets another turn. Corrin Gain is the next one to go, and then that's it. Shit. It can't even go. But, should I even do anything? No, fuck him. Oh my god. Red is so dead. Red is so freaking dead. Oh wait, so that actually... Yeah, this slicer dicer didn't get to go. It was the other slicer dicer. I just realized that. That's actually a good thing. Yeah, yeah, we got a bit of time. Okay. There's a lot more here hiding in the darkness than I thought, though. And that turret's still going to be plinking at us from far away. Alright, continue to focus fire on this thing. Good job, Red! 146 damage. Okay, 
It's almost dead. Okay, goat died. Red is red is barely alive. He has eight hit points. Please don't attack again. Okay. Uh, the other one's gonna get to go. We need to like get close to it so that it tries to maybe attack one person. Maybe. I don't know. Are we surrounded? We are surrounded. Shit. Shit. Oh, we need to kill this thing. Come on! Oh, Corn King can actually do something here. Guaranteed kill. Ow. I forgot about that. Thankfully, Red was in the back. Okay, please don't do the AoE thing and kill Red. He's dead. He's dead. Oh no, no he's not. He was just out of range. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're actually gonna be fine. Let's crouch. Pew pew. Oh wait, right, she has a I keep forgetting about her energy weapon. Damn it. Probably would have been better. Yeah, I did sixty one damage. Yeah, I think an energy weapon would have been better. Alright, the thing is definitely going to die before it gets to go again, which is excellent. Ow. Yulia's in trouble. Jesus. If I kill that thing, is Yulia dead? Uh, not quite. Well, I mean, I have to kill it, so whatever. Nice. Got a crit. Okay, I need to guarantee this thing dies. We just have the turret to deal with. Um, I'm actually going to run Yulia behind here because she's really close to dying. I suppose we could run away, but... Nah. Get some targets out here to hopefully distract it. You're also very low on health, so... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna keep you back here. not doing too good, but, um, let's see. Lipping range if you move here. Keep her as far back as possible while it's still in range. Yeah, just in range. Okay.
What the hell? What? You piece of shit. I think it made every single shot and she was behind cover. What the fuck? That thing's aiming software is uber elite. Protector, sure, whatever. Just out of range. Let's see, I have enough AP to crouch and to headshot. Beautiful. God damn, she's good. Echo one. Echo congrats. That was Pazeppi. Seven points. Okay, let's see. Uh, perception overrides with Helen, so again, I'm not upgrading that. So, smart ass or energy weapons? Or, oh, submachine gun. Right. Uh, let's do submachine gun. Haven't been using it recently because of all the robots, but at some point it's going to come in handy. We are really hurting. Once again, I'm just trying to get through these crappy medbacks so I can get to the better ones. These ones heal about 50 hit points. Good enough for now. Alright, so if I see a large group of them, of robots, I need to look for a turret, because it seems like often, there's often a turret hiding in the dark somewhere. Ooh. Hey, what? Wait, I found an already digged up thing? I guess the only thing I found was disappointment. <laughs> what is that? Warning plane crossing sign? a hanger? It'd be a weird shape for a hanger. A big rusting Quonset airplane hanger with squares of its corrugated roof missing. A sign on the front reads, Geronimo Skydiving Incorporated. Party's welcome. Take a flying leap. The hanging, uh, the hangar doors look rusted shut, but there's a smaller door to one side that might be open. Was I talking about over here? Because I didn't see a doorway there. But I did see a doorway over here. Yep, yeah, that looks open. Trying to get in. That means there's probably somebody in there. Could be their daughter, although this is really far away from the restaurant, isn't it? Where was the restaurant? Uh, the patch is... the garden patch is there. The restaurant is there. Eh, maybe. Is there like a way through here? 
think you gotta go all the way around. Alright, let's go into the hangar. Whoa, logbook updated. What happened? The carcass of a small plane is almost hidden in the mad jumble of dead robots and robot parts that is piled up around it. Robots, parts, engines, tools, and spools of wire and hoses line the walls, and chains hang from the ceiling. And from somewhere behind it all, you hear the whir and ratchet of power tools. Hmm? So it just updated. The hangar looks like it was recently converted into a workshop. That sounds a mechanical assembly make this a prime candidate for the source of the homicidal robots. Oh. I guess this is where they're manufacturing more? Using robots to manufacture more robots? Self-replicating? Sort of? Now, weren't the robots, like, hidden in these piles before? So, I think we're gonna get... Yeah, I think we're gonna get assaulted here. Heal up a little bit in preparation for that. Healing and Preparation, also known as Preparation H. Alright, one more. Whoa. <gasps> oh, that shit, that's her daughter. Okay, we need to go in now. No, no, no. Fuck you. I'm, I'm not gonna risk it. If I wait, she's probably gonna die. They were trying to convert her into something. What, hold on, what was he saying? To um oh I think they already did something let's see what happened my chest hurts nothing happened my dear you're good as new better your new heart will never grow old okay so they gave her a mechanical heart I think but otherwise she looks fine so she might be okay I mean, she still seems to be mostly herself, so... I mean, she's not dead. And, yep, they came out of the piles. Okay, I think we need to kill this thing first, right? Let's see, two oh, it's only got two armor. And it actually doesn't do that much damage. Although I think it bursts... Burst fires us, right? So maybe I shouldn't focus on it. Maybe I should focus on the other things first. Let's do that. Let's focus on the other stuff. Okay. We're not in a very good position, tactically speaking. Uh, I guess I'll crouch. Don't have enough AP to headshot. Man, these little shits can do a lot of damage when they do AoE. But um, let's try to preoccupy this dude by running up to his face and screaming. How much health does she have? Doesn't say. Hopefully she doesn't get hit by friendly fire. Let's kill this thing. Ah, oh, damn it! Did 60 damage to Helen? You fuck. It's okay, I forgive you. He has so low armor. I yeah, I can't use energy weapons here. Everybody has low armor. Oh, what the hell are you? Hello? Lexcanium. I sense a potential new follower. Alright, well you have to die. I 
don't know why I just used an energy weapon when I just said I can't use energy weapons. Not surprisingly, it didn't do very good damage. Oh my god, Red. I forgot about you. And now that I remembered you, I'm even more disappointed than I was before. Just don't... don't shoot Red in the back. Please. Yeah, I should have healed Red, actually. I forgot to do that. If he takes any damage, he's... he's dead. Yeah, that burst fire looks nasty, but I mean, it only did 20 points of damage. It really isn't. So I'm not gonna worry about him, I'm gonna worry about these little things. You need to die. Please don't friendly fire. Oh. Look at all these little fuckers. Alright, so these guys have crazy burst fire. And if they burst us, Red is gonna die. Good job. Just, just stay there and distract them, please. My god. What's the most likely one to kill Red? I think... If it's you or you. Oh shit, I didn't- oh fuck. I didn't mean to move you. I was gonna go after these people, but then I realized- I mean this thing, but then I realized I probably can't, and then I accidentally moved, and now it's all ruined. Alright, time to burst something. Who's going next? These big guys are going next. Alright, we got a bit of time. Then that little thing's going. Maybe I should kill this little thing since it is going next. Let's see, four shots, about 15 damage average. No, more like 16 or 17 damage average. Should kill it, but uh, let's just guarantee it. Uh? Oh. Never seen that attack before. <laughs> he spent his entire turn reloading. Oh. Alright, I'm too close to really do anything to you. Who do we snipe? Let's snipe one of these. Good job. Okay, this thing is going next turn and it needs to die right now. So... This might put me too close to it. Would I be able to shoot it from here? I don't remember how the bending around corners thing works. I don't think you really can. Would he even be able to shoot it from there? Because I get plus 10% chance to hit, which is nice. I'm not going to risk it. We need to, we need to kill this thing right now. Oh god. Oh god, please don't kill Red. I can't save. Fuck. If I have to replay this entire fight, I am going to be so sad. I suppose I could have healed him during my turn, but I don't know if that really would help. 
Because if he gets hit, he's probably going to get burst fired. And if he gets burst fired, he's probably going to die regardless. Uh, which way are you shooting? Uh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Oh, we're good. I hate you. Please die. You hit the wrong one, but I'm okay with that. Alright, um... I really don't want to be using my shotgun around her. So, I'm just gonna put it out... Just put it out of my head, the possibility of attacking both of them, and let's just attack you. Move a little bit closer, I suppose. Get ready for next turn. You have two hit points. Uh, I'm gonna let Corn Kane take care of you, although... It is gonna headbutt him before he gets a turn. So maybe I should kill you. I don't know. Let's just go here. Let's uh, make a move. Scare him off. Actually, we can still attack him, right? In the other mode? Yeah. You're fine, Corin. I wonder what Red's gonna do. Well, okay, I'll take it. That wasn't too bad. Side blocked. Side blocked. I don't know if I want to shoot across her. I mean, she doesn't actually have any hit points. So, she might not technically be a, a unit, so maybe she technically can't even be shot. But just in case. Oh shit! Looks like getting bashed by those things gives him a stun effect. That's why I can't move very far, he has a minus to speed. Damn. Alright, let's keep scaring him away. That gun is really pathetic. This guy has a lot of hit points, but he's really terrible. Whoa. Oh. Shit. Let's say, enough rangers attack me again and I will end the girl's life with a thought. Oh, fuck. You have control of her, don't you? Okay, let's not attack. I guess Copy we can just level up. This is Ranger Command. Congratulations. Cool. Kind of an awkward time to do that, but yep, let's do it. Harper. Eight skill points. Nice. Even everything, so no particular reason to go with one over the other. Um. Um. Can I use his computer science skill to try to... The fact that it says impossible implies 
0% chance against level 10 plus, so he's a level 10 plus challenge, so if I do this and put on my little trinket, that gives him a 25% chance. Wait, what? So they've arbitrarily decided to force it to be impossible? I guess? I don't know. Whatever. Yulia? Seven points. Uh, let's go with energy weapons. Okay. Uh, I want to talk to you. Do I, do I have to shoot you? Obviously I don't. The trap is working. Soon reports of your deaths will bring more rangers and then more. Wait, what? I thought... What? I'm sorry, what just happened? If he said enough, then if you continue to attack me, I'll end the girl's life. And then I didn't attack, and then it attacked me. And it didn't end the girl's life? What? Huh? I'm just gonna load my game. I, I don't know what the fuck. I guess I won't try healing myself. I don't know what the hell that was supposed to be. Okay, now... Did it bug out or something? Now it's not an enemy. Which is good, I guess, because I didn't see why it should have been an enemy if I'm supposed to talk to it. Can I? Okay, I, I can talk to it. Right, I guess I bugged or something. It's hard to tell under its hooded cloak and in the harsh light, but though it looks female, you get the feeling that whatever it is is not human. It looks like its skin is made of hard plastic. Yes, her new heart has an off switch, controlled by our network. Leave now, or I will trigger it. And before you savages get any clever ideas, please, keep this in mind. My 10 megahertz AD86 processor allows me to process information faster than you can conceive. I will be able to enact the girl's death before your bullets could finish penetrating my chassis. <laughs> With your 10 megahertz processor? <laughs> okay. Why did you replace Bin's heart? <laughs> I'm not here to answer your questions, Rangers. You will learn my intentions soon enough. Now go, or I will transmit the girl's destruct sequence to the server. I, I guess I can't ask any more questions. But if I do that, what happens? I mean, if I just leave, what? I, I'm not going to leave the robots here. Is there some other way? What other way could there be? I don't have the ability... It doesn't seem like I have the ability to use any of my skills, like smartass or anything, to overcome this. And if I ask any more questions, I think it's just going to kill her. I don't think I can risk it. I, I think I just have to hope that it's bluffing. I mean, I don't know what the hell it's doing, but giving it time is certainly not a good thing. I can't do that. There's much more than just her life at stake. Because by leaving it alive... Even for a little while, I could allow some sort of plan to come to fruition, which could make more uprisings happen and could kill hundreds, thousands of people. I have more than just her life to worry about. Uh, I guess I'm going to say goodbye and just see what happens, but I'm probably going to try to shoot it. 
Leave quickly and do not test me, Rangers, or the girl will die. Okay, let me quickly just check. Can I hack you? No, it's impossible. I can't leave. I can't do it. I have more than just her to worry about. I, I have to hope it's bluffing. It's gonna... I doubt... Even if I could kill it in, like, one turn, I doubt it would be fast enough, because as I said, it's basically instant. <laughs> I don't think it was kidding. Oh, fuck, no. It wasn't bluffing. She's dead. Now you surrender? Can you bring her back to life, you piece of shit? Can I save her? I mean, her fucking heart exploded. <laughs> no. Alright, what? Forgive me, Rangers. I have lied to you. I will tell you nothing. Instead, I will sacrifice myself for the cause. What, are you gonna explode? I think it's gonna explode. You metal motherfucker! Ow. Received Bin's basket. Who received it? I wasn't looking at who got it. Where is it? I think it's a quest item. I wish you could sort by new. I don't think there's a way to do that. Oh, there it is. No, it's not a quest item, just a basket. That she took with her to go get vegetables, I think. Well, that didn't end very well. Tinker's heart. Is that a human heart? Tinker's finger? It's a quest item. Oh, maybe to get back to the Citadel to examine. Tinker's head, Tinker's heart, Tinker's right arm. Oh my god. Okay, we need to process some stuff. Like, goddamn. Let's process some weapons, shall we? I've got two Sabbat rockets. Um, 15 pounds each. I think we could do without one. Alright, she's super overloaded. Let's strip for parts. Oh yeah, you can't get anything special from a rocket. Oh, I'm gonna strip it anyway. Full choke. That's to make the cone more narrow, which probably increases your range, actually, now that I think about it.
Okay, that's better. Looks like Theodore can take some of the load. Why don't you go ahead and take nine pounds? Still overloaded. Shit. <laughs> Wait, did I just get a high-powered scope from a pistol? What? Oh, there's a 35% chance of that. Okay. God damn, what do I have that's so heavy? Is it my two million rounds? My whistle? Too many dildos? I don't know, I need to sell shit. My god. Alright, whatever, I'll deal with this later. And yes, I'm aware they can't move. Oh my god. <gasps> it's the tank tread! For the prison! That's the part. Bushnell Ocelot, huh? And body parts, ew. Warranty sticker. Does that say Disco Freak? <laughs> We're even more overloaded. Only two of our people can move. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, there's lots of stuff here. I need... <laughs> Look at Yulia try to move. <laughs> so she actually can move. Yeah, yeah, so you can become encumbered, but you can actually still move. Just really, really, really slowly. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to manage. Uh, people to talk to, map thing to check out, uh, stuff to do. But this episode is already over an hour, so I think I better freaking end it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.